Still no word on how the fire started, but as the cause is investigated, Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel live in downtown LA with the latest on that. Jaysha. John Rachel Leslie, we just heard from Mayor Karen Bass less than 30 minutes ago, and the big thing that they're emphasizing this morning is to stay on the freeways and highways if you can and to avoid those surface streets. We also learned this morning that the investigation into this fire and how it might have been caused will be complete this morning, so we will be learning more details throughout the day today. We've learned that majority of the hazmat assessment is almost complete. Maintenance and structural crews are now here assessing the damage from the fire that started early Saturday morning and that fire burned through two storage lots in an industrial area under this freeway and Gulfink parked cars and support poles for power lines and more than 160 firefighters responded to that fire. Now, as you mentioned, Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency and the cause of the fire is still being investigated, but the governor says that the state has been in litigation with the owner of the business leasing the storage property where the fire started. Now, homeless people were also living under the freeway at the time, but officials said there was no immediate indication that the fire started at the encampment. But in the meantime, you should take other freeways this morning, like the 65 and 101, instead of using those surface streets. As we made clear yesterday, this was a huge fire, and the damage will not be fixed in an instant. Engineers have worked all night and are working right now to determine our path forward. Caltrans has secured a $3 million emergency contract to test and clear hazardous material from the fire, as well as handle the road closures and help fix the damage. And Mayor Karen Bass confirmed this morning that she has spoken to the U.S. Transporta Transportation Secretary, who says the White House is ready to assist. And back out here, live transportation officials all are, are also reminding people that they can use public transportation like the Metro to get to work and school until the damage is fixed. Live in downtown L.A., Jaysha Patel, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jaysha, thank you. Another live look over the 10 in downtown LA from Air 7 HD. Stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to update the latest on the 10 freeway fire all day, probably all week. You can also find the latest on road closures and alternate routes at abc7.com or on the ABC 7 Los Angeles app. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.